Uh, welcome back. So we're going to be working on the we're going to be working on the fix. Before I do that, let me kind of merge these two together. And then I'm thinking that after this after after we kind of block out most of the major properties of the human body, then I'm going to use a better realistic reference image to kind of get this to look get this to look a bit a bit much a bit much better something like so so at the end of everything i'm going to be using this ref this reference guide to kind of get this our entire model to look i might just ignore the head though or maybe i might even create it i don't really know but as far as the body is concerned the entire body is concerned we're going to try and create something close enough to this after blocking out most of the major form in here so that should be that should be an exciting one. So, but for now, let's kind of work on creating the, the legs. So let's work on creating the legs. So I would um, let's see. So we have some examples or some reference in here we can actually use. Kind of create the major structure and then add some secondary details to it just to make it look something. Just make it look close enough to something good. Okay, so. First things first, the silhouette. Let's now look at the silhouette from the side view. You can see the silhouette from the side view. You can see how angled it is. Let me see if I can take a screenshot of this. Let me create more space for this first. Kind of maximize this like so. Okay. Let me put this to the side. Then bring out my okay. So one of, one of the major angles was to, was to be looking at for the for the legs would be the front view which you have in here, the front view and then the side view. So if I should use the pen to now kind of cover out the sets, draw out the silhouette of the front view. We have something. I don't know if you guys can see it. We have something more or less like. So, doesn't seem to be drawing. Okay, I think it's drawing now. We have something more or less like. So you can see how you can see the S curve in there. Now for the front view, we have something more or less like. So. More or less like an the same more or less like an S curve also on the sides. So we want to try and recreate that kind of similar silhouette and um, curve shape or form on our legs also just to make it look believable. So let me just put this on the side like so. so what I'm actually going to do is to I think I need to shrink this a bit more. Okay. Like it should be fine. Probably won't drag this all the way here. So what I'm going to do is to append a. Let's see what can we append in here. Obviously, a cylinder should work just fine. Okay, we yeah, have a cylinder like this should be fine. So I'm just going to drag this out. Extend that out a bit. Shrink down the size more or less like so should be fine. Just to put this this way. Probably need to even hide it, hide the most part of the arm. Even the fingers also. Let me just hide this part for now. And just kind of make see just only this. So let's extend this all the way here. We extend this size a bit more like so. Now hold alt and I'll drag the gizmo more the way to the top and I extend this out a bit more. Something more or less like so. Let 
what I'm going to do is to use the move brush. I need to even smooth out this top part. Maybe that was a bit aggressive. Let me take down. Nope. Let me bring this back out. Take down the smooth brush intensity. So with the move brush, let me just change this. With the move brush. So I'll just raise this up with the move brush. I think I need more. I need to increase the brush size. I'll just double, double, triple click on that dynamic just to extend my brush out a bit more. Increase the move intensity so I can move this even faster. Like so. Even smooth this bottom part out a bit more. Yeah, something like this. So going back in here, let's kind of keep this in mind. Keeping the shape in mind. You can see how it's bent this way around here. But before I do that, let me kind of just do a duplicate of this. Let me just see. I think the length should be fine. This length should be here. Yeah, this length seems just fine. So what I'm going to do is to extend do duplicate of this only control and just drag the gizmo below shrink this in somewhere around there like so it should be a bit smaller extend this out even more like so okay now smooth this part in Spot should be smoothed down even more. The move brush, I just extend this out a bit more. Maybe that's way too much. Something around here should be fine. Now drag this back in. Extend this out even more, like so. Okay. I'm just trying to use my kind of calculates how the proportions of this should be so now that we have this in here now so we can kind of let me go out of this okay let me just make sure this is a separate poly group so since this one is already max control w it's kind of max that it's kind of give that a separate poly group rather so since they are both in the same place now let's kind of capture the overall proportional silhouette of this so this is already in place so all i have to do is kind of push this in that part inwards a bit more so around here so with the move brush i'll just push this like so smooth that out this one should go inwards backwards like so something like this so you kind of check this from this window in here if you, if you can extend this to give us a better or a clearer idea of how the general silhouette is so more or less having something like this which kind of which is more or less close enough to what we need it for except for this part needs to be up here like this somewhere like so okay so looking at this now from this silhouette um black and white shaded um screen you can kind of get a close idea of the silhouette at least for the side view though we can see some changes in you can see there are some things i can let me extend this out even more i'll push it this way which there is a way can i can do i can just extend just the lower parts but it extends proportionally but you can see that some 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 of some 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 of this silhouette is not completely there yet especially for this frontal part, you can see this frontal part, you can see this frontal part is a bit protruded. This frontal part in here. So you can see it's, it's, not, it's not really there in ours, so we need to kind of get that in. So I'm always going to use the move brush to kind of push something out like so. Roughly, roughly around here. You can see how that kind of compensates for it now. Maybe it should not be too high, it should be more or less down down here. 
let me just move this back down a bit okay you can see i captured this in here you can kind of use this particular window gives you a great view or now to kind of block things out even a bit more properly you can see how the button is not really in the right place compared to this reference image on the side so you can actually use that now as a good as a good way to kind of get that in get that in place kind of more or less get that you know, that's way too much maybe do this from the back view like so check this from the back view okay something more or less like so maybe a bit rounded around this part and also smooth this back down something like this a shape like this should be just fine so we check this from the side view now you can see that this lower part is a bit is extended out way too much let's kind of push that in just to have a smoother transition around it more or less like a smoother transition around it okay you can see like it's more or less dim there now this particular window gives you or rather helps you get the proportions at least close enough to what you're looking for before kind of adding extra details to it so, so now that we're going to block out the side view properly at least to some extent let's kind of help ourselves and then do the same thing also for the for the front view so keeping the front view in mind let me just get this like so you can you can see how this part is kind of pushed in and this part comes out a bit let me see if i can zoom in just on the upper parts let's just focus on the upper part for now you can see how this part is pushed in close to the nail and this part is kind of raised up so let me see let me bring back that screenshot we took so from the front view we have something like we have a shape we have a shape we have a shape that goes like like so something more or less like this okay something more or less like this you can see you can see that major shape in there now something more or less like this let's kind of recreate that in here with the silhouette so we're going to start by I'm selecting this guy with the move brush i'm basically just using the move brush now to kind of get things in place before adding those secondary details in there so we kind of push this inwards maybe i can let me you can let me use them standard brush instead let me just get this damn standard brush in here I know that there's going to be like a separator in here, this kind of mass in here. So I'm going to use them standard brush just to kind of block that in something like so. And take down the smooth intensity and just smooth that down a bit. Then with the move brush, we can push this inwards like so. You obviously want to have a smoother transition around it. Maybe we we'll use the clay builder brush to kind of extend that out a bit more. And this other part on the other side, we need to push this in. But making sure just this part is selected. The move brush. And kind of move or tilt this inwards like so. Raise this out. Not, not too high all the way here though. That part, should, that part is fine, you find the way it is. So I'm just going to push this out like so. We should be having something that extends all the way here something like this should be fine okay this is a good base maybe even we'll push it inwards a bit more okay more or less like so should be fine we're not kind of getting some of these shapes in place before making major changes to it All right. 
I'm kind of taking my time in here so I can actually explain to you guys how to kind of get this to look right from just simple, simple block outs. You can go to the lower part of the leg now, just invert this, this selection. So you have something like so. So let's kind of get this to look right. Let me just go back in here. Let's kind of draw out where this shape should be. You should have something that goes. Maybe I can change in the color of this. Probably use a blue color, color tone, so it's a bit different. So in this part now, we have something more or less like so. It goes across like this, all the way to the back, extended out like so. Something like this. We we'll more or less have like we need something like this mass in there. So let's kind of capture that silhouette in there from the front view. So we obviously, we obviously know that this part should be pushed back a bit more, all the way to the end. They will have more or less like that ankle bone at the back, which is somewhere around there. So we can use the clay builder brush to kind of block something out in there. And smooth that out, so it shouldn't be too intense. And it shouldn't even be that high, so let's, let's use the move brush. And just extend this down a bit more. So I'm keeping keep in mind that kind of smoother, smoother rounded transition around it. Okay. So at the, on the side view, like this part needs to be a bit higher, like so. Something like this should be fine. Then we'll just push this inwards. So just to make sure we have a better smoother transition to it, let me just smooth this out a bit. I use the clay builder brush. I'm using, I use the move brush rather and kind of extend this out a bit more. Then for the sides, let's do that also. We have something like this. Keeping in mind the reference, the, this uh, the, um, black and white silhouette in here that gives us a clear idea of how the shape is on the on the or at the, at the edges. Something more or less like so. This part should be extended out a bit more. So now we can zoom back out and kind of get a view on this. Just to see how it is. Which looks, which looks fine. Is we have most of, more or less like the major properties in there. So the major properties are already in there. And from the side view, you can see how angled it is. You can see the S curve in there. We can more or less see the S curve in there. For the front view, we can more or less see the S curve in there. But we can't draw it from the center part because it's not really obvious on the center part. But we can at least see it. We can at least see it at least from the side. So that's completely fine. So while we're here, we can also add like an extension for the feet itself. We can add like an extension for the feet. Probably I'm just going to use this same one and just duplicate this. So we need to control, I'll just duplicate it down like so. Do, do a rotation like this. Obviously, way too big. Though I'm supposed to kind of tackle this in a later lesson, though, but just to let's just have something more or less in place. This one needs to be slightly different, so with the move brush, I'll just kind of push this back in. Kind of, kind of, I'm just going to capture the at least general proportion of the fits in there at the very least. So I'm kind of using the same silhouette in here. Let me just use the same silhouette in here from the side view to kind of block something out. It doesn't have to be perfect though. I always like to kind of tackle this from the top view also just to get a better angle to it. I should find let's let's kind of find a reference that will kind of help us do a better job from the front view from the top view. Yeah, this should be fine. Yeah, yeah, this is actually fine. You can, can, can kind of see the break up in here. Don't be doing this separately though. 
but I just want to kind of, I just want to kind of have something at least in there to kind of use as a guide. So we should have so something from this view. So more or less looking at some, something, more or less looking at something from this view. You can see how the general shape of it looks more of an oval shape. This back flat bluish outline around it. So let's kind of capture that. Let's kind of capture that shape at least at the very least. Let's kind of capture that shape. So at the very least, let's kind of get that shape in. This silhouette at the this silhouette in here will kind of give you a very good idea on how to kind of capture that properly because the silhouette is, most of the time when you're kind of looking at an image or a shape the mind kind of the mind almost instantly understands or kind of gets a good look at the general proportion before kind of looking at extra detail on top of it if the general proportion is a bit off then the eye the eye will automatically kind of give you a signal that something feels off about this the general shape of this of this character or of this shape. I'm just smooth out and just level out this under parts. I don't spend too much time in here though. Because the main the main focus the main focus is the main focus is uh the the leg itself but i want to kind of more or less have something in here at least we just have something in there maybe i can even round <coughs> round this up It's already taking a bit longer time than I would want it to. Okay. So we kind of capture something in there for the top view. Let's see what we can do from the. Do we have. Okay, from the side view. Obviously, you need to kind of tilt to this. Kind of get a more frontal shape in there. Max this out. Rather max. I think I'm going a bit overboard in here already, Seth. Uh, okay, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just see. I'm kind of tighten this. Yeah, I'm flatten this like so. Extend this out even more around the air. Kind of use my move brush to kind of complete a bit of what we started. Yes, I think this should be fine. At the very, at the very least, this should be fine. At the very least, this should be. This should be fine.
it's looking more like a it's looking more of a boot like a boot though but that's fine it's gonna kind of capture most of what we need in there this move the proportions are already more or less in place okay just push this down all right i think that is fine we can leave we can leave we can leave with this i don't want to go overboard on this i spent a lot more time than i ought to on this already yet i'm just spending more time on it yeah. okay that's fine So back to the legs, which we're creating. Okay. Yeah, I think we're already in a good spot now. So I can just do a dynamash for this. I can fully just do a dynamash for this and then begin to block out small details we have in there and kind of show you guys where I'm blocking that in and how they actually look like after being blocked out or why. Or, or how those muscle structures are kind of looking like with them um, and an echo chain so with this in here now please we have something like this should be fine let me see if there's something else i'm actually fixing here something else in there's something in here the transition doesn't flow properly in here so let me kind of capture this guy kind of push this inwards yeah from the front it looks a bit better now at least slightly better now all right so now that we have this in here now so let's do a dynamash i think the overall length seems fine the overall length seems fine i believe you can always correct things if you want to if they're not looking they're not looking right or good enough for us to use yeah one more thing before i go if i go ahead you can see how the feet is kind of tilted to the side so making sure that is also in there so selecting just the feet itself i will just tilt let me just send get this to center i'll just tilt this this way more or less like so Do we need more of this? Something like this should be fine. I can just use the move brush kind of compensate for this. We will use more of the move brush kind of tilt this like so yeah it feels more or less like so yes that's fine that's completely fine so now let's kind of dynamize this and begin to block out the details we're spending enough time on, on this already for the block out so before i kind of move on let me just do just the duplicate of this to be on the safe side then do a quick mirror and weld okay that seems fine i need to kind of use the move topological brush now and just push this Kind of separate this out just a bit more to be slightly separated, like so. Now, do a mirror and red, and then bring everything out and do a mirror and red, okay? That feels somewhat better now. 
all right so i can do a dynamite for this i'm just going to go to let me just do another duplicate of this again to be on the safe side then i'm going to do a dynamash I'm going to dynamash and just click in there so we have this dynamash now so all we have to do is kind of uh, i think it's kind of save us a bit more a bit of time but i'm going to undo that i'm going to kind of do a dynamic sub d on this first then apply that then delete lower and then i can do a dynamash for this now so I don't, because I don't start smoothing things out aggressively all around, take a bit more time. We can see how the shape of the legs feels now, it feels a bit more close out to what we're, what we're going for. Just some more corrections to do and then we would have something good enough to work with. So I'm not going to do a dynamite for this now. Alright, so... Let's start smoothing things or blending things. Oh, I need to turn on symmetry. Symmetry needs to be, needs to be turned on for this. Okay. So now with the, let me just extend this, push this back in. Shouldn't be that wide anymore. I'll put this in here. So now let's start blocking out the major forms of these legs. Probably let me look for a better reference. Because the main agenda is kind of block out the muscle structure in there first. Before using an anatomical reference image, kind of get the rest of the shape in there. So I'm going to, you think I'm going to use this thing. Yeah, more or less something like this. Let's start with some more or less something like this. You can see how this separation we added in here with a damn standard brush in here is what we have around here. It's literally what we have around here. So the other part, let's, let's use our damn standard brush to start blocking things. But if I do that, let me, I think I need to kind of create something for the nail. Let me kind of block out something at least for the nail. So I know, so I kind of know where the knee region is. Something more or less like this shape of this bone. More or less like creating something that looks like the shape of that bone in there. Check this from the side view. Then I'll just smooth this out. We're still going to come back to it though, but we just need to kind of have something in there that kind of gives us the illusion of a nail in there before we come back and then work on this even more. Alright. See if it feels way too broad though. I'm just gonna get this something like so. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's completely fine. So that them standard brush now. Let's not start cut curving or cutting out the muscle structure in there. So we have something, you have this mass in here. So that mass could before we cut that damn mass, let's kind of get this to be more exaggerated, something like this. You can see how this mass connects to it also. So we're having more or less having something that goes in words like so. Then we have this guy in here, this mass in here. Let's gonna block that in. Keeping in mind that S curve shaped in the shape in the something like so. We have another mass in here goes across like this so let's look for let's look for I think the back angle for this okay, before we do that before we do that 
we have this mass in here like so you can see how this bone comes all the way slanted to the side so let's not carve out something for where that bony structure should be so with the damn standard brush more or less have something that goes across like so all the way to the ankle something like so so i'll just leave that as it is let's see for the back view yeah something for the back view now You go to the back view. This mass, this block out of this mass is what we are trying. This mass in here. Let me see if I have a side view that gives us a clearer idea, so you guys don't get too confused. Yeah, yeah, it's a good side view. It's a good side view. Think let's do it from the other side, so we kind of match the view properly. So this mass in here. Is what we have in here already. This is what we have in here already. And this other mass in here is what we have. I think I let me smooth this out. Smooth this out. So that part, that part lower actually extends. Let me use the damn standard brush. It extends all the way here, like so. No, no, that's way too far. That's way too far. Something like so. Okay. Keeping in mind that X S form shaped in shape in there. Then we have this mass in here, which is this one at the back in here. Let's see how that connects. Let's, let's see how that connects to the back. This is what we have in here at the back. So you should kind of tilt this to the side and use the kind of corresponding view for this. You can see how this mass connects to the bot. So we have something more or less like so we have something more or less like this. Okay. The bot is kind of make some corrections for the bot though. But before we do that, let's just carry on. You can see how we have this mass already, which is this mass we have in here. This one that goes to the side is what we have in here. And for the back now, for the back we have a mass muscle that looks that goes more or less like a separator that goes like so. Then we can kind of separate it in here. Maybe that's way too far. Kind of separate it in here also. So more or less have something that goes in here. You can see I connect all the way to the bots. So, more or less something like so. Okay. Because we're going to be using this mass. This thing we're blocking out in here to kind of do, to kind of do some filling up using a 3D scan. Using the 3, using the 3D scan to kind of get this to look much better. But at least we're kind of, we're kind of blocking out the forms already in there. So let me kind of smooth this out. That is uh, more or less overly extended. You clearly, I have a mass in here. You can see this mass in here. The feet obviously needs a lot of work though. Well, let's just go carry on. So you can see how this one is a bit slanted. A bit slanted like so. More or less, some, let me kind of cover out something like so in there. You have something more or less like this angle, this angle. So keeping that in mind. We can do something like so. It goes across like this. You know, that's way to a better way to do it. I think we need to kind of check this from this angle. Let's let just kind of block out. Let's just kind of block out this. Let me eliminate this line first. Block out something like this. This one extends out like so. I think this is way too, is way too down. 
shouldn't be that far out somewhere around here should be fine maybe the other part is overly extended something like this okay so let's see how that connects to the front okay we're not done we're not done with this you can see we can see an obvious indentation around here so let's kind of block out where that indentation should be connecting all the way like so using the clay builder brush holding out can just block this in like so probably even a bit more and smooth that out okay so let's see how that part connects to the front let's see it's not very obvious though okay i think we have something in here you can see it connects all the way all the way around the edge. let's kind of use them standard brush and kind of carve that in also something more or less like so for the frontal view this other part we kind of do this for the frontal view Where is the front view for this this other one at the back actually goes I don't know if it's a better let's see if we can find something that clearly shows it that shows it a bit properly maybe th maybe this guy yeah, maybe this guy yeah, something like this should be fine. You see that back piece is in here. Let's not connect that in here. So you should have something all the way that goes across like at the back. Let's see an angle for this. Let's just kind of connect it like so. And use our move brush to kind of compensate for it. Okay. This part needs to go in a bit more. Just to get a smoother, a better, <coughs> better transition to it. I'll just smooth that out. Okay, now that's fine. So I think. This should be fine for now. So what, what can actually do now is that in the next lesson we're going to start blocking or adding some more fleshiness on top of this, just to make it look a bit more realistic using um using reference guide from I think what, where is it where is it using reference guide from this scan <coughs> from this scan data to kind of get this to look gonna get this to look even better so because we've already kind of blocked out most of the major forms by carving out okay some okay we have something in here actually you can see how this muzzle in here feels like let me see this which view we have yes yeah, this view on the side and yeah, this view on the side so I kind of use the damn standard brush now. I can see this curve in here. I kind of get this in here like so. Yeah, something like that should be fine. Okay, let me do it again. I want to kind of have like an X curve in there. Okay, something like that should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's completely fine. So what what we're going to um in the next lesson we're going to start adding we're going to start using this to kind of use this reference guide to kind of get this to look slightly better than it is right now so we've already kind of blocked out most of the major landmarks for the model structure in there so we're going to be using this reference guide guide to kind of get this to look even better so i'll see you guys in the next lesson